everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How we doing today? Uh, combo breaker, I guess, is what we can say here. Um, kind of surprised at this, you know, I was totally expecting them to stay with this, and I expected them if they were gonna break their female, female, male, male, which is literally like if you've ever seen me stream or hear me talk a lot, you know. I don't care about patterns. I, I never really hold them up to anything because patterns are kind of meant to be broken. Um, but this is the only one that had made sense so far. So I'm really surprised they, they kind of switched it up, especially this way. Like I expected them to break this pattern going um, female, female, female instead of male, male. Um, I basically, I expected more females than males. Uh, but what do you know? Um, I have been spoiled by the title. I don't know any abilities or anything like that. I just, of course, it's literally impossible to, like, get a video up there without being at least spoiled from the start, which is just so frustrating. Like, I, I need a better system for this. Um, I actually made sure, like, if you can see, I, you obviously can't see on my monitor. What am I talking about? Um, but on my monitor, I have the top cut off, so I can't even see, um, the label of the video, but I did accidentally see it. So uh, without my glasses on, I could tell who it was. It was either one or two people, um, and I was pretty sure it was one, not the other. Uh, so anyways, let's get into this. I have no idea who else is on the banner. Um, I'm glad they broke this pattern because this was the one that was kind of infuriating me the most because it just like didn't make sense to do this sort of pattern. So it is what it is. And um, let's get into this banner here and take a look at how many guesses we got right. As for the hero itself, I just like didn't think it was going to be him, you know? I, I didn't think it was going to be him at all. I thought for sure it was going to be um, Hrid or Erika or something like that or like a Micaiah. But here we go. We get this instead and I hope it's great. I hope it's fantastic. A new legendary hero joins the battle. Hero King Marth. Da, 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 da. Oh, he is beautiful. That shield, holy crap. I just spat on my monitor. I'm so excited for that shield. Um, Martha always has like a super baby face, by the way. He's always got the babiest baby face you've ever seen in your life, but that is the snazziest shield I have ever seen. That is ridiculously amazing. I'm so glad he's not an armor as well. I'm not sure what he's going to do, but... That shield is insanely awesome. I want it just for that. I hope he has something special with his shield. Like, I hope he has shield toss or something. Um, you can't just design that shield. I can't believe how good that is. That's got to be, like, important. Again, forgive me for not playing his game yet. I'm three quarters of the way through FE9. I know this comes up all the time. But that shield has to be, like, of some importance to the story. Because that is baller. That's, like, the coolest looking shield I've ever seen. Wow, it even... Look at his sprite. Look at his fright. They know damn well that that's the coolest shield they've ever seen, too. Um, so obviously he's got effective against dragons, uh, because we do see the effective damage there. So let's see what he's got. He's got Exalted Falchion. Um, do we have this one already? I don't think we do. Effective against dragon foes, grants plus three speed, grants attack speed, defense res. During combat equal current bonus of each of unit stats. Calculate each status bonus... Jeez, these weapons are getting so confusing, but for my first read over, it just doubles the bonuses on him, which seems bonkersly good. That's right, right? Like any buffs it has, any hones, any um, spurs, any drives, anything like that doubles? Wow, his special is called Fire Emblem. Really? What's the two symbol by it? Um, I'm really confused. Okay, let me, let me read it. <laughs> it's really just called Fire Emblem. That's hilarious. Okay, boost damage dealt by 30% of unit speed, so he's going to be one speedy person here. Um, grants attack, speed, defense, res to unit, and all allies for one turn after combat. That seems pretty good. Oh, that's just the cooldown on it. The, the two is the cooldown. I was really confused. I was like, is that a new... Thingy? Nah, it's not. Anyway, and all allies for one turn after combat. Bonus granted to allies even if H HP reaches zero. Oh, so if he dies, they still get the bonus. Pretty sweet. Love that ability. I love the attack speed bond. Anybody with Falchions loves their bond. Oh, binding shield. There we go. Oh, look at the icon. It's even got the same shield. Um, if combat against a dragon foe, unit makes a guaranteed follow attack and foe cannot counterattack or make a follow-up attack oh my god screw dragon screw all of you 
just like get wrecked it doesn't matter if you're noe if you're anybody you can't you can't make a follow-up attack nothing's gonna go through that right that's awesome i love that ability it's just like such a punch in the face i love the shield too just beautiful oh infinitely intern uh, i cannot speak infantry flash so i thought that was rush when i first saw it um infantry allies within two spaces can gain unit speed more than foe's speed okay really cool really cool really cool um yeah he's super unique he's got insane insane synergy with teammates and everything and i feel like he's built for the new arena right like he super buffs up all sorts of buddies but then again maybe he doesn't because he kind of has to proc fire him to get the buffs off um and only infantry flash is really buffing outside of that so maybe he isn't as like um buff up your team for tier 21 as i expected it to be but boy oh boy is that a spicy skill set and i want him just for the shield look at this look at this dragon try to attack you can't attack oh god oh look at that it's so good you can't you can't stop him oh the shield goes on there too so the shield is obviously like the fire emblem right like that's that's the thing for his game Fake. Ah, why did I pick Mist? I knew it was going to be Fae. Why in the world would I pick Mist? I have just faith that one day it's going to be Mist. But no, I knew it was going to be Fae. I even said it. I was like, I'm going to put Mist even though I know it's going to be Fae. Brave Lucina. That's... This is not looking good. I was considering Brave Lucina, but I thought if they were going to put any Brave in, it was going to be Brave Roy. So I thought against it. Nephany, I'm like 0 for 70. Um, There we go. There's two in a row I got. There's three in a row okay they went that route instead of going the grima route wasn't sure how they would handle that um i thought for sure they were gonna just make green insane but this kind of does make green great because of his weapon is so great um sprinkagero got that too robin obviously that's an easy one reinhardt got that one oh if i didn't screw up that start i was set oh look at this look at this I was so good until that end, until the very start here. We nailed like the last seven of them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine out of 12. We should have got the Fae too. I should count that as a check mark for the Fae because I knew it was Fae. I knew it wasn't missed. Um, so we basically like legitimately missed Alphonse and Lucina, which means we screwed up Katria. Um, and that was like a 50-50. Where are they going to get Katria or Alphonse? I wasn't sure. Nephany caught me super off guard. I thought for sure it was going to be an older unit. So super surprised by that. But who called red perfectly? Like I got Lene perfectly and I got um, the other one perfectly too, uh, Reinhardt. And I was saying to myself as well, if we did not get... Um, Lene, we were gonna get Ninian. I put them on for for some reason anyway, but um, it is what it is. So I will take my eight out of 12, maybe nine out of 12. Wow, okay, so look at this, this is nuts. Um, his shield, his shield is something else. And I'm sure you guys already know stats and everything because of people being smart with math and me just pulling things out of my hat, but this seems pretty good, right? Um, like, granted, his shield is just assuming it scores high, which I'm sure it will. Uh, hopefully, it's not like a recover ring situation. Um, is insane. Like, it's not going to do anything against a lot of the meta. But um, right now, you run into enough phase, enough noise, um, enough uh, tiki's. But at the same time, do you need that on somebody with a falchion? Like, I I'm trying to consider if this is actually necessary on somebody with a falchion, especially with somebody who's going to have a ton of speed, um, assuming he's going to be really speedy because of his fire and 30% damage of speed. Um, not sure. Like, it seems like a, a super, super amazing weapon, but I'm not sure if it's needed. Like, if you're against Grima, you don't, you don't need that, right? You're going to kill him with Exalted Falchion. If you're against Tiki, the same thing, you're going to kill him with Exalted Falchion, I think, especially with buffs. If you're against Noe, that's the only one that kind of has me worried at this point. Like, th this is basically going to kill Noe, and that's it. And even then, you're probably going to kill Noe with um, a special, if anything. 
Uh, so I'm really, really like backstepping on that as I think about it and as I talk about it because is it really necessary? Like, have you ever had a problem killing a dragon with a falchion user? Like, my alt's uh, Masked Marth has a falchion and literally nothing else and still kills most dragons. So, um, I have to imagine you're not going to have any problem without Binding Shield. But this also makes me consider the future because I think one of the main things that is going to be a part of this game in the future, and maybe like smack me down for this, maybe maybe don't believe me for this, but this is just what goes on in my head when I think about things, is I think um, one of the next game modes is going to entail a big dragon. And I think it's going to take up multiple spots and it's going to be a hard fight, hopefully anyway. And I think this is perfect for something like that. So um, there's that to consider as well. Like what's, what's the boss of every Fire Emblem game, right? Like we have to have big dragons in here somewhere. Um, wow. Holy crap. I just noticed I've been talking for 11 minutes. So you guys are probably tired of me already. So I'm just going to sign off here. I'm super confused at this. Um, I'm also not sure what to do for summoning. Like, do I summon until I get either Reinhardt or Lene, or do I summon for the rest? Um, I'll do an analysis probably tomorrow morning. We'll see, and I'll, I'll revisit this. And I want to take a bit to kind of think about this um, unit. But with these stats, like, this is this is an insane amount of stats, right? Like, he is bonkersly good for stats, and he's going to have no problem. The only question I have is if he really needs um, Binding Shield. Like, maybe they could have give, given him a different weapon without effective against dragons and just put that effective in the shield. But that doesn't make sense either. Uh, I have no idea. I'm sure they thought this through, and I'm sure you guys have a lot of opinions on it too. So anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and have a wonderful day. And uh, I hope you guys get lucky on this banner. And let me know if you do, because I love seeing um, all your summons on Twitter, on Discord, everything. So uh, have a great day, everybody. Bye now.